welcome guys to the sixth tutorial of our Android chat application with Firebase and what we will be doing in this tutorial is displaying our users in the user fragment because here is no list of users so let's get right to it so here I'm at user user fragments recycler view recycler view and the model because this is where our users are stored because we want to display our users user list and uh, we will take a package and create an adopter so we'll name this user adopter because there are so many users in the future so we need a recycler view or a list view extend recycler view the view holder and this and now here we will implement the methods sorry what we'll do here is create a constructor for this and my holder okay and now we will implement the methods and here we will take one context another context list users I'm passing our model and user list and alt enter create a constructor perfect here what we will do is take our layout and inflate view view layout inflator from context dot inflate r dot layout layout for users parent and false return new my holder view real quick we will use a list size and what do we have here text view the username and circle image view the image of the user so we will cast our views here username item view find view by ID username in user fragment image view item view image view image user fragment let me just recheck username user fragment and id uh, where is that um, image user user frag okay this is the id and just making sure that i'm mapping the right ids so in future we don't have any problem okay so the last step would be users user chat user list get position and here what we'll do here is holder dot username dot set text user dot get username and if user get image url is equal to default then we want image view oh sorry holder dot image view dot set image resource drawable user else glide with context load user dot image get get image URL into holder dot image view 
so we'll rush back into our user fragment and take our user adopter here and the doctor firebase user firebase user and here we will start working on it display users so what we'll do here is okay display users here we will first of all map our recycler view recycler view users recycler view set has fixed size recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager get context so whenever we are working in our fragment you can write get context and when you are working in a in an activity then you can write this okay so what I'll do here is I will initialize my array list and here I will take a database reference reference uh, sorry firebase database get instant get reference user I think it's users because user can be there can be many users so we are accessing this whole path that is why we are not referring it by its child we are just referring the first node and here I will add value event listener value event listener applying uh, first clearing our list and here applying a for loop data snapshot ds snapshot get children users users ds dot get value users class now here is the thing we don't want our we don't want to display ourselves in the user so if the user id is same as our id the one we have logged in with we don't want it to display here other than that if it's not our user id then we want all of the users to be displayed here but we don't want to display ourselves in the user fragment okay so what we'll do here is I will just here Firebase user is equal to Firebase auth get instance get current user if users get ID equals Firebase dot get uid and we'll write if it's not equal to this then add user list add all the user data add all the user data here except add all the user data here only when it's not matching the id that user is logged in with so we don't want to display ourselves in the user fragment we'll come down here initialize our adopter uh, m adopter new user adopter get context and user list because we have updated the user list here and apply the adopter here set adopter m adopter so now it should be running 
let's see I will work on the user Im uh, the, the profile image also but we will see that at the very end I think right now let's just get the app running first so in the following tutorials I will work on how to okay so yeah we see this we have the second friend John here and John is being displayed here okay so if if I log out by Sam and log in John John then I would see Sam here so this is perfectly working as expected and now the num uh, we can keep on registering accounts and we can keep on having increasing the list let's just add one more account so we can like you know it looks a little bit better on what we are doing Tina at gmail.com one two three four five six and yeah it is registered here and here I'll just go back to my account one two three four five six okay and now we have two users here for some reason it is uh, changing the color so we'll look into it I will create a separate tutorial to fix the bugs and then we can you know go ahead and see why it's doing that but right now let's just keep on working so now what I want is that when I click on this nothing is happening I want to go to the message activity so let's work on that we will go to our adopter and work here so holder we want to apply here when it's clicked on the user yeah item view it's not showing for some reason what could be the reason holder dot item view dot set on click listener yeah so whenever this is uh, our user is being clicked on we want to go to that activity where we can send the message so I would take an intent intent new intent here we will just pass the context because this is not an activity this is a class and it should take us to message activity class and what I'll do here is I'll take the ID of the friend that you are clicking on so this is very tricky that we want the ID of the person that we are clicking on so it should not it cannot be the similar ID as ours okay so as we click we will pass as we click on the user then we will pass that ID as a friend ID so it to do that we would pass a string variable as a friend ID to our message activity and here we will take a friend ID variable and friend ID is equal to user get ID so all the IDs of the all the users are being stored in this key this ID this user has a separate ID this user has a separate ID this user has a separate ID so what is happening is that I am just getting the ID of the friend from this 
just as I have extracted the username I have applied the same <laughs> and what I'll do here is intent put extra name the key friend ID pass the key friend ID and start context context dot start activity perfect so now we will run the app and it should take us to the message activity where we will use the 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 friend ID that we have clicked on and then we will work with that it's taking a little time to load okay so now I have clicked on Tina and now I'm in this activity so if you want to know what uh, what what was the ID just to make sure then we can add a toast message this is the extra step that I'm doing that whenever a user is being clicked on we want to show the toast message ID is so we will we can confirm it by here to make sure that the right ID is being sent to the message activity where we need that so here our app is being loaded and uh, yes here we are so now I will click on the Tina ID starts with 0 BRA I think something wrong happened friend ID which ID is showing let's just wait um, let me just see what is the issue said the So what it's doing is like it's showing me the John ID again and again but we will figure that out why it is that way friend ID dot get ID uh, let's see if I have done any mistake Okay. So for John, it's displaying the correct ID, but for Tina, it's not. Mm. What could be the reason? Okay guys for that's it for this tutorial and we will when we go to the message activity we will make sure that we are not uh, we are not getting the wrong ID I will fix it meanwhile and I'll let you know if there was something big but I don't think so there is something something to worry about so let's just uh, yeah move on to the next tutorial where we will send the message so thanks for watching guys and please subscribe